Irene caused the largest two-day public transportation shutdown since 9-11. Today, the airports in New York, Boston, and Philadelphia reopened, although more than 1,600 flights were canceled. Mark Strassman at New York's LaGuardia Airport looked into what it takes to get the airlines back in the air. Remember, Scott, we're talking about the world's most complex public transportation system. Restarting it involves a lot more than flipping a switch. Everyone has a boarding pass? Can you get boarding passes? Delta ticket agent Tanya Del Pratt is the calm center of LaGuardia Airport's new storm. Rebooking. Will they be checking in the bags on? Delta Airlines alone has to help 100,000 stranded passengers. It canceled another 400 flights today. Okay, what time is your departure? We try to find flights as best that we can. Even sometimes we have to call like another airline, even though they're experiencing the same problems. Not everyone's going to get out today. Not everyone is going to get out. 13,600 flights across the country were grounded. Some travelers may have to wait until the end of the week to get where they want to go. Mark Rosenker is a CBS News transportation analyst. Aircraft right now may well be in the wrong airports. The crews may well be in the wrong cities. All of these have to be put back together in a sequenced fashion. Getting back on track was a challenge across the Northeast. New York subways reopened, but first, inspectors had to walk all 660 miles of track. Washed out tracks, fallen trees, and mudslides still block commuter lines. And Amtrak still has no service between Boston and Philadelphia. Well, the flight is on time. For Tanya Del Pratt and everyone working in the Northeast's people-moving business, it's like watching a sleeping beast stir back to life. As long as you give them options and say, okay, your flight is tomorrow, but you can try to stand by for today. At least having some kind of hope, they do feel better. Another reason to get these stranded passengers moving through as quickly as possible, right behind them, a real tidal wave is coming, Scott. Two and a half million air travelers over Labor Day weekend. Mark, thank you very much.